What is up, everybody? It is your favorite pugging DK who flung. How are we doing? I have missed y'all. I've been at TwitchCon the last uh, week or so, which is why we haven't had a new episode. But here we are back for the start of Mythic Plus, is bringing y'all right along for my first Mythic Plus. We are doing, uh, what is it? The Stone Vault. We've got a Pride Pally, a Mistweaver Monk. Uh, Warlock, Demo Warlock, Frost Mage, and myself as a Frost DK. So let's jump right into this beast and see how we do. We are already, uh, it looks like we're pulling a decent amount here. So this is, uh, my legit first, uh, crack at doing a, uh, a Mythic Plus in uh, the war within so we're gonna see how we do as a pug if y'all are new to this series i call myself the pugging dk simply because we are going to try and experience as much of the mythic plus content as we possibly can as a pug that is the goal so we are in uh, very simple we're plus two uh stone vault here nothing too fancy to get it started off with it is literally the first group i could get into i got my first uh key prior to this so i've got a key i've got a mythic to siege of borales but we're gonna we're gonna knock this one out first uh, and wreck somebody else's key if necessary hopefully he pulls back here through the doorway and not both groups at the same time but you know you gotta be careful about which way we uh, place our little frostwormy things. Make sure. Uh, oh shit! There we go. We got stunned. Uh, it looks like everybody else is just blasting the whole crowd, so I might as well do the same thing as well. Yep. There goes. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what mechanics we got in uh, in this one, being that it's a two. It's been a hot minute since I've done uh, pluses. So I'm uh, I'm a little rusty at it. We've actually got to move our webcam mid trash fight. Because I, as some of y'all may know, I'm also a GTA streamer and for GTA, my camera is uh, almost always in the uh, top left of the screen to block the chat box. So World of Warcraft is going to be the bottom left to block the chat box. At this point, I'm assuming most people that are uh, familiar with... Oh, shit, I walked right into that, didn't I? What are we doing, Hooflung? Why are we uh, standing in the middle of shit? But I'm assuming that most people know the boss fights uh, at this point. Uh, and they're just coming along for the hilarity that will ensue. Is that gold used for something else? Titanic Earth and technology enhanced with We're going to see if there's any changes to this for Mythic Pluses. Alright. Maybe there will be. Who knows? Uh, is my trinket still on cooldown? It is still on cooldown. I got a, uh, a best in slot. Get it out of my way. Come on. There we go. I got a best in slot trinket that we'll talk about in just a second out of my vault. You know, I, uh, got set up for vaults for, uh, for loot out of the vaults and then immediately went to TwitchCon. So I've been sitting on this, uh, this vault for, uh, a hot minute. Boom. Get out the way as soon as he casts off. And there we go. All right. We'll, uh, we'll show off the trinket that I got shortly uh, after the boss fight here. If y'all are new to Mythic Pluses, there's uh, there's no loot from each boss. You get loot at the end. As long as... Uh, and it depends on uh, how uh, how well you time the key. How much, uh, how much loot you get. Blast and move. This dude's about to get uh, poofed, or uh, I say poofed, uh, skadooshed. 
I believe we are in uh, execute phase now. There we go. I'm not sure if they chat. Let me know if there's a side effect to uh, to stack in uh, those beams. I don't know of one, but there may be one. We'll take the opportunity to show off the trinket. We got the uh, treacherous transmitter as uh, out of our vault. It, it came at 603 item level. I believe we are uh, we are 596 as of this recording. I try and put the uh, item level in the description of the videos. So we are currently 596. It was very nice of them to pick up pick me up i've uh, i've had trouble uh, getting a group all day and for them to pick me up was awfully nice let's pop some slappy hands here help out with the uh, aoe on trash and just absolutely aoe this stuff down throw another dnd out it probably shouldn't have done that uh but you know it's better than nothing Probably should have saved that for the next trash pull, but you know, we won't have one uh, for right at the start, which is going to suck. But we'll be okay. We'll make it work. Yeah, we'll put a uh, a a mark on these guys. Try and make up for the for the lack of it. Uh, except we can get one down now. I was chasing down my. Uh, I thought I was hitting the guy that was in front of me. It turns out I was hitting the guy that ran away. Second boss fight should be uh, right around the corner. We've got, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it depends on uh, if we're going to go, uh, if we're going to go straight across or if we're going to clear the trash to the left. He is pulling uh, back here, which is good. Be careful about which way we uh, aim our little frostworms here. I'm not sure if we're supposed to eat these or not, but that's what we're doing. A little unsure about that. Oh, dodge the fireballs of doom. I don't want to find out how hard those hit on mythics. That is not the objective. And some of y'all that may have uh, run with me in the past, I know there's going to be a few of y'all in there that may have done groups with me in the past when I was an arms warrior way back in the day, know that uh, I used to be known for standing in shit just to build rage. It is what I used to do, but we're going to try and break the bad habits. very simplified version of this boss I uh, you just you alternate them burn them down the uh the little caster on the right will send the brick across the middle the melee guy on the left will drag it across the middle you basically don't want to be in the middle as they drag the big old square across that would uh, not be ideal all right here we go big deeps Oh, that was a big one. And then there he goes to uh, sling the uh, the big guy uh, across the middle of the map. There we go. The big cube goes across. See if we can get a little bit of AOE off before uh, we have to start moving. Slappy hands. Why not? Since there's two of them next to each other. There goes the big guy dragging it across the middle. Make sure you're not standing near it when it explodes. 
we'll pop our shield just to help the group absorb a little bit of that interrupt 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 his key now we're in the xq phase so we'll help out there nice clear path here the caster uh, has been teleported oh shit what are we standing in something no i don't think we are get out of the way of that nobody's down so we're doing all right we're gonna switch to the caster again and we should be good ggs on that boss Now there is going to be trash on uh, the right hand side that we're going to have to clear. So I'm going to wait for the tank to uh, to go across. Normally we would uh, clear the trash on the left in this corner here uh, first, but it looks like uh, he elected to do the boss first. So there goes our trash pole this way. There is uh, that guy Pats, so we'll have to do our best. And we've got friends which sucks we're gonna, this is gonna be a nasty pull we may uh we may wipe here who knows hopefully not we're gonna put our other dnd down we may very well wipe here we're gonna immediately switch to the big guy and do what damage we can here wait for another dnd to pop up tank is taking a blasting but he's so far the healer and uh, him are doing an amazing job there goes dnd &D down that'll help a little bit uh and tank did not fall yet nah maybe the tank did drop a stone. yeah that was a wipe okay i was uh illusioned by the fact that i thought the tank had stayed up tank had actually dropped and just immediately released so but we were uh, we were pumping out some serious deeps there, some serious AOE deeps. So it's, it's to be expected to to die at least once. We've actually had six deaths though. Good gracious! So penalty on our timer of uh, thirty seconds because of the six deaths. So we've had the one wipe, which will account for five of them, and then somebody else must have died uh, somewhere in that mix. That was just bad, uh, bad luck there. Somebody came across here from the boss, cut the corner too tight, and uh, and pulled the uh, pulled the ads. You got to be careful about where we uh, put our little frostwormy things. We should be able to burn this down fairly well. We might get that pat. Hopefully not, but we might. Yeah, we are gonna get the pat here and that's my fault that we got him. I think It's okay. We put our mark on him Hopefully we'll uh, we'll crank him down pretty quick Fingers crossed Yeah, he went down pretty pretty quick hop in the minecart. Let's get going Back to the main room and straight across for more trash we've got two bosses left we're halfway through with 19 roughly 19 minutes left on our timer we should be okay with my first uh, mythic of the mythic plus of the season i would be happy if we just timed it that would make me happy All right, next trash pole. There's a little bit of a pack coming up. We're gonna mark this guy. We're gonna stand right next to the tank, so it's not entirely our fault if I uh, if the ads pull. He went ahead and pulled him, so we're gonna pop slappy hands here and uh, and do a little bit of uh, extra damage. Pop pillars of frost as well. It's all built into a macro that I have. Y'all let me know in the comment section if you want me to uh, show off the macros and I'll be happy to do that. 
it's nothing uh, nothing too flashy macro wise it just pops a uh, pillar frost uh remorseless winter and i believe my trinket uh, as well uh we're gonna pull the whole mamma jamma all right let's put a D and D down i figured we would do something like this we're gonna pop our shield since we're eating a little bit of aoe damage here do our best to help out where we can if my guildies watch they will laugh because i am notorious for uh for forgetting to uh pop cooldowns in guild shit but in uh public shit for whatever reason my brain uh reminds me to do it all right i wonder if we're gonna pull uh trash to the left or if we're just gonna brave it or we're gonna go right side first All right, we're gonna burn. Oh shit! Get out of everything, Papa Shield, to help with that. There we go. I thought we were gonna get caught up in that, so we uh, went ahead and popped our uh, our little shield. We've gone ahead and pulled the extra group, which I don't think we meant to do that. And that will be our second wipe of the dungeon. But of course, it's okay. We're still on time. Hopefully, we get at least a one chest out of this. Hopefully, we do for our, our first one of the season. We should still be doing that. 11 deaths, of course. The two wipes plus the one extra gives us uh, just about a minute's worth of uh, time lost. I think these have both been due to accidental pulls. Uh, the first one, of course, was somebody not uh, pathing correctly. Uh, just cut the corner a little too tight. And this one is... Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be probably AoE on that one. We'll have to go back and watch the video after the fact. Not 100% sure on it, but it could have, it could have been, uh... Could have been that. Move had a shit on the ground, who flung. Interrupt when we can. And boom, there we go. That's how that should have gone. We're going to pull that pack on the left just so we have access to the whole floor. Let's put a mark on this guy. Put some AoE down. Slappy hands it. We're just going to make a nice, neat pull out of all of this. Stay out of purple stuff on the ground because purple stuff hurts who flung. Oh, this trash just got annihilated. All right, so we should be clear on the boss. I will not have Mark for about another 15 seconds or so. Something tells me that they are not going to wait on that, which is all right. I wouldn't necessarily expect them to. We're getting a, a lust right at the start, which is, uh, which is nice. Get out, get out, get out. Let's kill ads since nobody else wants to kill those. We're going to do our best. Mark on the boss now. We got more, uh, more trash out. Get out, get out, get out. Let's pick up a couple of these guys. Oh, stay away from the boss now. Here we go. And back in on him. Open time on the boss. No mechanics to worry about for just a second or two. And then it's all going to start back up again. Make sure 
you participate in the mechanics because it will help your crew out a live dps is better than no dps that is my uh, my motto going into this is a live dps is better than no dps back in on the boss and there we go third boss down straight to the uh mine cart and off to the final boss i think we will at least one chest this should be all right fingers fingers crossed a little bit of trash to the last guy burn him down and collect some loot of course we have used all of our speed enhanced uh, abilities so we are uh we're slow poking this one if you don't have like death advance or like wraith walk up or something like that the dk is remarkably slow We're not really burning cooldowns on this because there's going to be a much bigger pull coming down. So I, I, I want everything, uh, want everything ready for it. Our fix for this one is uh, while in combat, uh, I can't pronounce that. Manifest crystals from the void can, can be absorbed by enemies or players. So we basically we don't want the enemies to have those. That would uh, that would not be good. You gonna pull that? Yes, you are. Like a good little tank. Appreciate that, Paladin. We'll uh, do some big AOE deeps on this. Oh my gosh! Stay out of the stuff on the ground, Hu Flung. Do your job. Don't die. Big AOE deeps here. We got some pick them up. So the, uh, oh no, I tried to get that last one, but the trash got it. Oh, pop a bubble. Cause we weren't sure we were going to get out of that. But we did, we made it out. We survived. And there we go. Got one, two, three more pulls before the final boss, and then we will see what, uh, if any, amazing loot we get. We'll interrupt to try and group them up a little bit more. Totems are down. I love being a Frost DK because I've got uncapped AoE. That is a big plus for me. All right, which way are we going? Are we going left or right? It looks like we're going uh, right hand side first. I right, did. We did mark this guy because it should be up by. Uh, oh shite! Uh, that was close. It should be up. At, oh no! Come on, guys. You got to be careful about your pulls here. We're going to die as close to the door as possible. The tank has already released and run back, as has everybody else. So we, this is our third wipe loss of now a minute and a half, 18 deaths total. I want to say guys have got to be careful with their uh, placement and their pulls. I personally would have pulled that out of the room, but that's just me. Each tank's their own. Um, and that would have been fine uh, in a group uh, of probably guildies that knew what you were doing. But, uh, you know, with, uh, with pugs, I would probably pull the stuff out of the room. And maybe that's what we're going to do this time. Yeah. Tank's pulling the, uh, the second time he's pulling out. We will mark these guys as well just to help burn down because we'll, we'll have the mark back up for the boss. There we 
go. Burn it down. Real easy. Real nice and easy. Oh, excuse me. All right, that one's done. It's just got one more guy left. We're not going to pop much in the way of cooldowns on this guy because the last boss is right after this. And uh, hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves on it. Get out of the swirly brown stuff on the ground. Oofling, do not die. We got to remember to uh, rinse on this boss. Get the debuffs off of us, help the healer out as best we can. We got five, six minutes left. So we basically got one pull, one pull to time it. We're going to go ahead and slap your hands right at the start here. Avoid the... Uh, Mass AOE there. Well, I say the mass directional AOE. Get away from me, my dude. Get away. Oh my goodness. Don't stack on me. Do not stack on that, guys. You nearly heard me uh, rage here in a video. We're going to drag ours all the way over here and dump it that way. Because again, mechanics are more important than, uh, than padding the DPS meters. Mechanics are far more important than padding the DPS meters. And that's a why because mechanics, uh, were not followed. Cannot stack the swirly dooms. That shit hurts. Wipe it up. Come on, wipe it up, wipe it up, wipe it up, please. All right, so the most important thing is once your tank and the majority of your DPS go down, do not drag out the boss fight. Just go ahead and wipe it up because you still stand a chance of getting in there and timing it. And uh, they, uh, they prolonged that a little bit unnecessarily because I, you know, I admire their, uh, their, you know, their grit, but a healer and a warlock are not going to solo a mythic plus boss. Or, or duo a Mythic Plus boss, shall we say. That is not going to happen. But let's get in here. Let's give it another crack. We'll get this down one way or the other. We're probably going to rip this guy's key. All right, let's do this. There he goes, AOE on the ground. You've been affected. Get out, get out. Boom. Woo, hello. We're gonna stay away from him for just a second. Oh my goodness. We were taking a whack because of, uh, of where the boss had him. That was good placement there by the group on that one. We got to get our debuff off. We're definitely going to rip this key. Too many people are dead. We're going to pop that DPS up.
We're going to try. We're going to put a new mark down. We're going to try. We got the DPS up. I got the tank up. I went down. We've got the tank. We got the healer up. Hopefully these guys can uh, can finish this off. But I, you know, I don't know. I, I have hopes. We're gonna root them on. The boss is uh, at twenty four percent. So this is gonna be a long drawn out one if they manage to do it. The key will be officially ripped at this point you can see by the timer has gone down to zero a stone to call forth. they're doing all right though i you know they're <laughs> they're doing okay it, it's just i uh, I don't know if it was the DPS guys not knowing the mechanics. Oh, that heal is about to get blasted. How long is this going to take? They've got them down to 18%. So they, they've knocked an additional 6% off of uh, the boss fight. It's going to be a, a slower process, but I, you know, I think if they, if they maintain this, they will get it done. 14%, 13%. They're, they're spreading out decent enough. You know, these two guys clearly know the mechanics. You get the dots, you got to go over to the vortex to get it cleansed off of you. Obviously, the boss has directional AoE. Uh, and then you get the spinning uh, swirlies on the ground. But you want to take those out to the, uh, you know, away from your party members and not blast them. I think we were having a an issue with our DPS. We're not getting themselves cleansed in uh, in the orbs and uh, you know stacking uh, the blasts on each other. We've got uh, a a percentage check of seven percent. These guys are obviously going to be able to do this. They've got the mechanics down. They got everything down. So the key's been ripped, but uh, at least the dungeon will be complete at this point so guys follow your mechanics is the lesson of this one please 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 follow your mechanics and here goes the dungeon completed yeah all right well we should have been uh we should have been better than that but you know unfortunately it wasn't let's see if we get anything from the loot chest we didn't but it's okay guys hopefully you enjoyed the mythic plus stone vault i've been who flung this has been the pugging dk we'll catch on in the comments or the next live stream peace guys